All right, so in this video, I wanted to give you guys an update on the durability of the Hydro Dip technology and let you guys know if it has held up or not. Let's go ahead and discuss in this video. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the links in the description and happy shopping. Today, again, as I mentioned, wanna cover the durability of the Hydro Dip technology. So if you didn't know what this was and were confused with what I'm talking about or how this actually happened, basically you have a paint film that I get from a company that I'll link in the description. You literally take this film and place it on water and then you take and spray an activator over top of it which helps it adhere to whatever you dip through the water. And when you dip it through, you actually end up getting this as a result. And it's pretty insane to see. They've done this for years and years on automotive parts and other types of things, but we really haven't seen it much in the sneaker space. And it's something that I've been wanting to explore for the last two years. Shout out to Recon in Portland because they're actually the ones that I know have done this successfully in the past. So I wanted to just give it a try myself and see what I could do and see if it is durable and just give it a test myself and then really let you guys know the results of that. So in this video, hopefully you guys will see some of the results and answer some of the questions about the durability that you guys may have. So for me, this is a really exciting technology because you can really take any type of print and put it on top of a sneaker and it really adheres to the sneakers quite well. And that's what we're gonna be showing you guys a little bit more in this video. But it's also kind of scary because if you mess it up you really mess up the product and there's not really an easy way to rectify it in a sense because you are painting it on and it is sort of a permanent process. So uh, as a result of that, you have to be very, very careful that you don't mess it up from the first time. You could see I have a big slash across here where I messed it up. There's also some dabbles of ink right here that kind of got messed up. Um, so it's not perfect by any means, but it's really, really cool for somebody like myself that's not an artist, but I have artistic aspirations. I don't know how to draw things, but I like have visions of something that I think would look cool. I'm able to achieve more of that because of something like this type of a, of a process. So for me, it's really great. And I plan on doing this a ton more on this channel. So if you guys like the hydro dip videos, smack the thumbs up button on this video. Let me know, give me the feedback that I need to make sure that it's something that you guys are interested in actually seeing. I think visually it's cool to be able to do uh, as well as just the whole process in general is just fun uh, to be able to achieve something different. So. First things first, on this mesh type material on the Alpha Bounce, you could see that it stuck really, really well. And I've worn these a handful of times, at least five times, and it doesn't come off. Like this is good to go. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to spray a protective layer over top of it. I don't need to scotch guard it. Although I will say that I did use the rejuvenator spray on top of here just for fun. It's not something that you need to do, but it's something that I like to do on a lot of my shoes anyway. And if you guys want to save 10% on their website, check my link in the description. There's always a link to Rejuvenator in my descriptions as I'm a uh, representative of the brand. So this is something where you don't need to do anything else on. And I was worried that if it gets wet, it's going to like dissipate or fall apart. But you think about it, it was created in water. So it's actually not going to fall apart. Uh, it's really, really sturdy as you can see. It doesn't rub off or anything like that on your fingers. And it is really something else. Now this is on a mesh type material and I'm gonna explore this with more types of materials in the future and like prime knit and other things like that. But as far as I can tell, this type of material for sure was a win. Uh, there's definitely some materials where it's a little bit more difficult. One of the materials that I heard is a little bit more difficult um, and I'm gonna find out not on this pair, maybe on this pair and, and maybe some other pairs, but the leather is definitely something that is difficult and you have to prep it first before you uh, hydro dip. I'm going to try it a couple different ways. I'm going to try like a white on white Air Force One and not prep it and just put it on and not put a finisher on and see if it actually adheres or not. I'm also going to try it the other way and then strip it down, then paint and then put a finisher on to see if it makes a difference uh, between that. So I will have a couple more experiments for that in the future, but so far so good. Definitely works on the Alpha Bounce. Best $38 on this shoe that I was able to convert into something that I really, really like. And I plan on using this pattern on a couple other things. Some people were not feeling this pattern though. So I did have this other crazy hex pattern that I have done my Ultra Boost on and I do have some other patterns that I plan on doing in the future. But as for the other pattern on this Ultra Boost, you could see that the boost material actually stuck on really, really well. And I've worn these for about two weeks straight and really put them through the work. I haven't seen any signs of wear on the actual boost material itself. You could see here, it really sticks to the shoe. Like, I'm really impressed with how well this sticks on the shoe. There's no real sign of wear there. 
The bottom though is another story and this, as I already mentioned, was expected because this is direct rubber and obviously if your rubber is touching the cement and you're scraping it around, it's just a little thin layer of paint that went over top. So of course it's just gonna rip off the bottom layer. That was definitely expected so that's why you see the spotting. There's areas like this that there's boost and then plastic that it actually just sticks to just fine. So if I wanna make this look cleaner, I would actually tape the bottom of the shoe as well and only paint the midsole or the midsole and the heel cup or the midsole, heel cup, and cage here. If this one wasn't this material, I probably could have done this one, but honestly, it works way better on plastic. So I will do an Ultra Boost with just these two sections on plastic done, then I'll do an Ultra Boost with just the midsole done, then I might do one with all three, I'm not quite sure, uh, but it really sticks quite well. So hopefully that answers the question for anybody that's been wondering. I didn't have to do anything special to this. There was no pre-treatment or post-treatment to what you guys saw in the video. I literally had a new shoe, took it and then dipped it in the stuff and then you have to rinse off the film and once you're done with that it's good to go like that's pretty impressive stuff to me and something that i'm excited that i'm going to be able to use in the future you will see that there are some nicks here and there it's not perfect there's some air bubbles in this because of the way that i did the job it just wasn't 100 percent perfect so there is little air bubbles here and there and little nicks that you'll be able to see in here or like right here just a complete miss but um but that's not due to the wear of the shoe necessarily. It's just because of me and the flawed attempt that I did on this one, which was only my second or third hydro dip attempt. So like really it turned out pretty good considering that, but definitely something I'm going to improve on. But ultimately I'm really, really impressed with the product. I love this hex pattern. This is one that I found online that I was just super geeked up about because as soon as I saw it, I knew that I wanted to go ahead and try this on Ultra Boost. And also some people were telling me in the comment section that they didn't like this upper with the green hits uh, with this boost. And I totally get that. I only did that because uh, this one was only $80 when I bought the shoes. So it was an easy one for me to take. And if I screwed it up, I screwed it up. No, no big loss to me. But I did want to um, try this pattern and just see the durability first of all, and then how it looks. I will be using this one again on a white Ultra Boost or a black Ultra Boost. Can't decide which one. If you guys want to leave a comment, let me know which one you guys would like to see on a black or white Ultra Boost. Let me know. But um, but yeah, so this is a, an amazing technology, something I'm looking forward to doing more and more of. And hopefully we can make some cool things uh, on this channel. But what do you guys think about this whole hydro dipping thing? Is it something you guys are interested in seeing more on? Again, if you guys are, please smack the thumbs up on this video and let me know that or leave a comment or hit me up on Twitter, Instagram. Just let me know that you guys like what I've been trying to attempt. I have at least a dozen projects right now that I want to work on to do this, to perfect it, to make it even better. Um, and I'm really, really excited to show you guys some of these results. So hopefully you guys again enjoyed and we will catch you guys for some more videos very soon. And uh, thank you again for the constant support on the channel. Peace guys.